does this thing snap out of this funk it's, it's in? Um, we're just staying together, staying the course, you know, um, knocking in and figuring out ways to just finish games like this. You know, we came out hot and we kind of, you know, lost it going down the stretch. And we can get to the point to where we can figure out and adjust in those situations that help us out a lot because it's kind of like, you know, we get disconnected in certain areas and then, you know, little by little, it's like a domino effect, you know, something just happens and we can't figure it out on the fly. So once we get to the point to where we can adjust and figure out things on the fly, down the stretch, it'll help us out a lot because it'll pull us together, you know, have us playing as a team on the, on the defensive end, offensive end is gonna come after we get stopped down the stretch. What do you think about this upcoming road trip? We cannot go out, you know, BSing <laughs> at all. We're going to go play a lot of great teams on this road trip, and we got to come out with the mindset of, like, you know, either we're going to win them all or we'll come back sad. I don't want to come back sad. So the mindset for sure, I'm pretty sure in the locker room, is just like we got to go and take care of business. This is a business trip, night in, night out. You can't worry about the things that frustrate us. You can't worry about the things that hold us back on the floor at all. We just got to go out and play ball, you know? Hey, Gap, I'm going to take it back to that quote that Kuz told you, storms don't last forever. It's just human nature. I know mm -hmm. seven in a low row can weigh on you. Yeah. How do you just kind of keep the positivity in the locker room despite you know, the obstacles right now? We just have short-term memory. I mean, obviously, there's a lot of things that go our way tonight, but it's always another one 48 hours away from here, you know, unless you got a back-to-back -back and then, you know, it's a couple of hours after that. But other than that, you just got to have short-term memory and just on to the next. You know, we have days to where we can talk about the cleanup offensively, defensively, but other than that, we just have to worry about the next game at hand. You know, taking one game at a time is not really just focusing on the past. This is behind us, and we just have to be better the next game. And then personally for you, a double-double, um, just what worked well for you tonight? Really just, really just feeding off the guys' energy on the floor. You know, Jordan, he came out and he did a lot of things defensively, and that kind of helped me get going too. You know, just feeding off the energy from the guys on the floor that's out there, you know, playing their tail off, you know, from whether it's the starting five and I come in, grabbing KP out, or if it's the second unit, main thing, you know, because sometimes energy guy needs the energy too, you know, and with the help of Jordan, with the help of Corey, and all the guys that's on the floor, you know what I'm saying, they helped me out a lot tonight. There was a lot of guys that picked me up last game. I was frustrated, of course, and I just had to come out and be better from that, that point on, basically. Just kind of with the road trip coming up, I guess, Who's speaking up in the locker room after a game like this to try and, you know, write the course? Pretty much everybody, you know. We all know it's not going to be an easy road trip for sure. So pretty much everybody, you know. Obviously, the guys have been in the league for a good amount of time. Of course, Taj, Will, Brad even said, Brad even said a couple of things. We just have to we just be locked in and not take anything for granted on this road trip, you know, because if we have an opportunity to win, we got to go take that opportunity. Plain and simple. You know, one of the teams that are counted out in this league, and we gotta, you know, make a name for ourselves. That's the main thing. Uh, Twenty-two for me tonight. What we're working for you? Uh, just being aggressive, uh, starting out the game, just um, put my head down, trying to make plays. You were kind of one of those calibers that turned that devil thing around in a tough stretch right now. Just, what, what can you say to the guys to kind of you know, just get them positive and turn this thing around? Um, keep a positive mindset. Um, everything you do, just do it a little harder, practice harder, um, work out harder, but uh, just keep your faith and keep going out there, giving a big time effort, so, you know, things will change. And then you and Monte will return back there, just with the type of reception I'm hoping the devil faith will give you. You said hoping? Yeah. Um, I don't know, whatever it is, it's just gonna be. Uh, I try to block things like that out and just go out there and play. Was there something about the the way you played tonight you think can could carry over moving forward for you? Uh, yeah, I mean that's who I've been my whole career. It's just about channeling that, you know, on a consistent basis. Um, you know, it's tough to play like that every night when you know the minutes are up and down and stuff like that. We got a lot of guys, you know, in and out the lineup, so it's tough. But I gotta just try to do my best to go out there and um, be aggressive no matter what. And what can you tell us about the injury that you were dealing with for a few games? Uh, there's some uh, foot soreness, uh, nothing too major. Will, you kind of mentioned, especially with guys being in and out of the lineup and you kind of learning to come off the bench and everything, how you're still figuring it out. Was tonight, was that part of a factor? Do you feel like you're a little bit more settled, a little bit more comfortable? 
And I just had to tell myself, stop thinking so much. I think I was just thinking too much. Should I do this? Should I do that? Instead of just going out there and playing, you know, basketball and carefree, which is that's when I'm at my best. Was the injury something that you were playing through a little bit, or it came up right before you got you sat out the two games? Uh, playing through a little bit, but it got worse in the um, Chicago game, so they wanted me arrested and, you know, get it feeling good as possible so I can get out there and play again. <laughs> How do you size up this uh, six-game road trip that's coming up as a whole? Um, just try to take it one game at a time. Uh, West Coast trip, a lot of good teams. And we got to figure out a way to get some wins. And, you know, it starts the first game in Denver. We just take one game at a time. Can't look ahead. Um, we got to get one. Just plain and simple, we got to figure out a way to get a win. I know injuries have played a factor, but these last 10, 11 games, what has been going on with this team that needs to be corrected? Um, I feel like we've been in a lot of games. Um, just got to get more consistent. Um, a lot of our main guys out. Uh, we got to be even more sharp. Uh, limit our mistakes on offense and defense because the air, you know, the margin of error is short now. So, you know, we're right there. Just got to figure out a way to get it done. Is this a time, though, when you and some of the people with a lot of experience in this league say something to to try and keep things even keeled or to help the team just snap out of this funk? Uh, yeah, for sure. Um, I try to say things here and there, but I try to really just, you know, lead by example. Um, Todd just said things. Um, we just got to go out there and get it done at the end of the day. Uh, you know, where's the words? We got to go out there and just figure out a way to win. You faced, you know, your former team before with Portland, but does going back to Denver mean anything extra to you because you were there so long? Or? I don't know. I don't know. Um, I've been trying not to even really think about it right now, uh, especially with what's going on. I try to take everything one game at a time. Um, especially with the reason going on right now, just trying to help get us back on track. Uh, I guess I'll know closer to the game time, how I feel and things like that. But right now I try not to even, you know, think about it too much. I try to just, you know, stay in the moment and that moment as it came yet. But when it does, I'll, you know, I'll see how I feel and whatever happens, happens. So after a game like tonight, where's your confidence level in your individual game? Um, it's high. It's always been high. Like I said, uh, I just got to stay mentally tough, um, mentally locked in, and just be myself. Um, like I said, don't go out there and think too much or should I do this or should I do that. Just go out there and just play my game and, you know, I'll make the right plays. Uh, well, um, you know, you, you had this relationship that, uh, with Wes since both of you all came over from Denver. Um, how how do you think that his demeanor has been over you know this this last couple of weeks? Um, I just know he wants to win bad. Um, you know he's the leader and um, he's trying to stay level headed and positive while still you know getting on us and teaching us. Um, we just gotta hang in there and stay with him and um, things will turn hopefully.